Good evening, everybody, and welcome to LaFrance Gymnasium here in Fall River, Massachusetts for tonight's NJCAA matchup between the Bristol Community College Bayhawks and the Massasoit Community College Warriors in this battle of Route 24. How are you doing, everybody? I'm David Cardoza, and I'm alongside here with Miss Megan. Miss Megan, Bristol Community College is their first game, first game in how many days? 40 days. <laughs> 40 <laughs> days. 40 days, 40 nights. And we're back here for the second half of the season. And uh, we're bringing it to you right here on FRC Media. Want to welcome in everybody on our Bayhawk, on our Bristol Community College Athletics page. And um, and who can we look out here for for the Warriors here today? For the Warriors, it looks like they have the top scorer has 13 points per game, and his name is Nathaniel. I think it's pronounced Semido. 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 So you look up for Nathaniel Semido on the Warriors side, and of course, Bristol Bayhawks are led by their sensational sophomore, Stanley Freeman. We're going to send it down for tonight's starting lineups with yours truly here from LaFrance Gymnasium on this Bayhawks telecast. Ladies and gentlemen, Welcome to LaFrance Gymnasium for tonight's NJCAA Region 21 contest with the visiting Massasoit Community College Warriors and your Bristol Community College Bayhawks. The NJCAA Region 21 and Bristol Community College are committed to the ideals of good sportsmanship, safety, and fair play. We ask that all fans, coaches, and players show respect for the opposing team, game officials, and each other before, during, and after tonight's game. Thank you for your cooperation. And now for tonight's starters. First, for the visiting Warriors. Number 10, Tamian Cherry. Number 15, Stephane June. Number 21, Nathaniel Samito. Number 11, Gilbert Menea. And number 24, Brian Tyree. The Warriors are coached by Jim Stapleton. And now for your Bristol Community College Bayhawks. At forward, a freshman from Somerset Berkeley High School, Nathaniel Gerwaki. At forward, a freshman from Aponiquit High School, number 10, Joe Lopes. At guard, a sophomore from East Providence High School, number 15, Dominic Santos. At guard, a sophomore from New Bedford High School, number four, Chad and Gio. And at guard, a sophomore from Grand New Bedford Volk, number one, Stanley Freeman. The Bayhawks are coached by Brian Fernandes, Clayton Times, and Eric Diaz. All right, that's tonight's starters. So tonight's starters, different look, different starters. Switching it up a little bit. Looks like some, maybe something happened in those 40 days <laughs> in, uh, in camp. You never know what can happen in 40 days. And we're getting ready for tonight's tip. Brian Time. Okay, controlled. Out the Freeman. gate. Freeman. Nice play by Santos. Freeman gets it stolen away. By June. Nice hustle back there by Angia, stopping the fast break. Bristol looking to come out in zone. Shot in the corner is good. And it's a three by the big man, Brian Tyree. Massasoya matching up man. Kyrie kicks it back out to Angia. Uh. Angia loses it. 
to number 11, Gilbert. Puts it up. Nice body control there by Gilbert Manea. And just like that. Bayhaas got a little slippy fingers this game so far. Yeah, well, Bristol's Lily. looking to shake the rust off. Yeah. Freeman gets his shot off. Can't get it to fall. Rebound. Nice rebound. Nice play by Nathaniel. That's Nathaniel. That's Nathaniel. Bristol, Bristol men's bench into it. They get it inside. Tyree. Boy, that's going to be a lot for Nathaniel to handle. Yes. And he goes to work. That's going to be a matchup that the Warriors are going to be looking to exploit. Daniel's got the ball for well, open, uh, open layup there. Stanley Freeman looking to windbound. Gets into Nathaniel. Nice block nice. there by Tyree. In the corner, Chad and Gia for three. Can't get it to fall. Looks like Nathaniel's being uh, very aggressive this game. Start off. Yeah, he's, he, he's showing he's some fun. hustle. This is his first start. Um, so when why he, that uh, we know of this year. Good ball movement by the Warriors around the perimeter. Three-point shot coming off. Rebounded by Nathaniel Nathaniel G. Here's Freeman. Kicks it to the corner. Santos Ooh, gets that nice. shot partially blocked. Lopes kicks it back out to Freeman. 17 on the shot clock. They swing it in the corner. Santos pulls it. And gets nice. the friendly roll. They can get, finally got that roll there. And that's a three ball corner pocket. That's a big shot by. Maybe I can get them, uh, get the Bayhawks going a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Bristol in zone. 2-3 zone by, by the Bayhawks. This battle of Route 24. And they get it inside of Tyree. That's, that's going to be a matchup problem right there. Yeah, that's night. a little bit of a matchup problem right there. 9-5. There's a pick set. Freeman versus for first nice. layup. The sophomore. Nice play by Freeman now to get to the basket. Yeah, Stanley Freeman getting it done. Stanley Freeman coming into tonight's game. Average at 18 a game. He definitely grew. You can see the growth from last year. You could definitely see the growth from last year as taking more, taking over more on offense. Yeah. Taking taking uh, more responsibility. As Gilbert Manea, he hits. 11-7, fast and furious, this one out the gate. And the first game for Bristol. Oh, mm -hmm. Chad and G, I thought he got, he got, a little he got bump bumped. There. Yeah, he got yeah. a little bump. Looks like uh, the refs are going to let this be a little physical. Yeah. Both teams into it. This has been a rivalry over the years, Megan. These two teams with the campuses only separated by a little less than 30 miles. Right down Route 24, Massasoya, as we know, located in Brockton, Mass. What I found out. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a turnover. A lot of turnovers so far this game. A couple of, getting, I guess, getting the rest off of both teams. And here's Freeman. Freeman with the ball. Santos gets an inside to Joe Lopes. Boy, he's tough. A little turnaround on jumper. Uh, he loves that shot in the paint. I don't know. He got that. He had to go in over. Yeah, it looked like an angel yeah. tipped it in. Around the perimeter. That zone is active for Bristol. And they forced another turnover. Looks like they brought in more size to cover uh, Number, yeah, number 24 there. Yeah, Tejon Hendry, who usually he's is a like starter. Four. Yeah. Yeah, runs about 6'3, six, 6'4. Six, he's usually a starter for Bristol, and he's in the game now. Got him back, uh, got him back in now. Yeah. Santos gets nice. it inside, and right there is Hendry. Keeps him at He's going to stay in. <laughs> yeah. And you can see the difference that Tejon Hendry does. He's got great leaping ability, and he can also block shots on the defensive end. After the uh, first uh, couple four plays, Bayhawks are back in this. 11-11. There's a three-pointer coming off. Rebounded by Hendry, and you can see his 
his presence already being felt. More Freeman good. kicks it back out. Chad and G up a three. <laughs> Chad and G for three. How you like that? They just flew in. They didn't even, <laughs> they even touch the rim. A little bit more fluid than the previous game, no? Yeah. Oh, I think, yeah. And Bristol has a 14 to 11 lead. I like, uh, I like the Warriors side to side passing here. Freeman drives to the basket, puts it up off the glass, can't get it to fall. Freeman thought he had the foul there. And this game. You, you have to get back there. You can't, can't worry about the fouls. Yeah, you got to get back on defense, that's for sure. They get it inside. Nice bounce pass underneath to Tyree. And now going nice. to the basket. Nice block there by Henry. Henry. Oh, nice. So since they brought Henry in, uh, that's a great hustle. 24s uh, haven't been really bring, giving them much problems. Yeah. Seems like they recognized uh, the mismatch quickly and and adjusted. Yeah. Well, Henry's definitely brought the energy as he's come off the bench here. I, again, usually a starter. Massasoit looking to double in the backcourt. Maybe they're looking for just a spark. And it's the all nice pass there to a swooping number 10, Tammy and Cherry. What a pass there by Mane Manea. I thought, I thought Freeman was uh, going to make a play there. Oh, yeah. Had, en had Angia. Here's a three pointer. In and out. Brendan Narciss is in the game, number three. Thinking about it. Driving to the basket. Nice dish. Nice block there by Henry. Oh, no. I guess it was a foul. It looked like it was mostly ball to me. <laughs> Referee doesn't think so, I'm and uh, Tyree will go to the line. I don't think I'm biased. You think I don't, I don't know. <laughs> You're like Tommy. What's wrong with Tommy? I don't think Tommy's biased. No, nothing's, wrong. <laughs> no, nothing's wrong with Tommy. I think uh, Tommy's completely objective and <laughs> unbiased. Just like you, right? Yeah, exactly. Tyree will step to the line for two. First free throw. Or second free throw. That's going to kind of call it a lane violation. Someone stepped into the lane too quick. 14 of 14. As we're almost seven minutes into this one. Nice pass by Freeman. Shot no good. Narciss can't get it. Seems like they're going with uh, Warriors going with more full court defense, and uh, Bayhawks didn't know how to respond to that. Yeah, the Warriors have been all over them. Yeah. They've been all over them. Even when they're bringing the ball up the court, they're all over them, man to man. Tyree backing himself into the basket, no good. Freeman looks up. He's got Narcissus going to the basket, oh, and that, they're going to call that goal ten. They're going to call a goal ten there. That was a nice pass by Freeman. Put it right in front. If you're just joining us, 16 to 14, Bristol has the lead. Getting inside of Tyree. As uh, Tayshawn Henry and Joe Lopes collapsing on Tyree Ooh. and going back the other way, and and Gia tried to bounce it off. Uh, yeah, I thought there was some. I thought there was some contact there. Yeah, it looked like he got pushed out. Yeah, that's exactly. I thought he got pushed out. I think Chad and Gia think so too. Been a couple of couple miss uh, calls by the refs here. Looks like they're gonna just let him play. <laughs> Cherry gets it into the corner. They get inside. To who? 12 on the shot clock. Good defense oh, by nice. Bristol. And they force a turnover. That's going to be a travel. They'll call a travel on Tammy and Cherry. Looks like Cherry doesn't agree with that call either. <laughs> Refs ain't going to get a lot of love tonight. Massasoit not going away. They're in the backcourt trying to disrupt Bristol's. Bringing the ball up. Lopes. They're still be setting here. And Stanley Freeman, he's kind of been like the quasi-point guard for this team. 
Was he was he was a forward last year, wasn't he? Yeah, they kick it into the corner. Narcissus for three. <laughs> three ball corner park it by the Narcissus. 19 of 14. Nice pass there by Freeman. Yeah, he was. Yeah. He played it. He did play a lot of the three and four. He played a lot of forward last year, Stanley Freeman. But this year, this team needs a point guard. He's a. He's a. Seems like a good facilitator. Yeah, the, they need a facilitator, and a floor general. And Stanley Freeman Step has up. taken that role. Freeman back the other way. Try to get that one up there. No Look, good. Looking for a foul call. Okay, with the ball in his hand, number twelve, Jeremiah King. King gets it to the free throw line, kicking it back out. The three-pointer off like, the mark. Looks like the Warriors uh, wanted to get it inside, but Bayhawks just won't let them. Yeah, the Warriors came out. The Warriors came out quick, but they've um, they've Bristol. relinquished their lead. Bristol like Bristol adjusted and uh, playing more pressure on inside interior defense. Yeah, Bristol's been much more aggressive, mm -hmm. and when uh, when Tyree gets the ball, they're all over him now. Seems like they had him a little bit more size with uh, Henry coming in. With Henry coming in. And then, uh, so and also uh, Joe Joe Lopes. Joe Lopes got not some size. not not tall, not big in stature, as uh, height wise. But he is a uh, he is a hard worker, an intense guy, and a solid body underneath there. He's a hustler. Did uh. The Warriors just get a, what, Knows how to use his body. Yeah. Joe Lopes, okay. number 10. 19 of 16. Bristol with the lead. And here's Freeman. 17 on the shot clock. Lopes catches it. Nice Out five. to the wing. And Gia for three. Gets nice. it to go. Chad and Gia. They got to close out quicker on that. Quicker, quicker than that. <laughs> that was a nice find there. That was a nice find in Chad and Gia. That's his shot from that wing. Chad and Gia is showing why he's the leading scorer for this Bayhawks team. We're going to take a little break here. It's 22 to 16. Ten and a half minutes to play here in the first half from Bristol. All right, welcome back to the place I like to call the pressure cooker. Why do you give it? Why do you call it pressure cooker? Well, it usually gets to be like, uh, you know, really. Uh, it gets to be like a pressure cooker. It gets to be really hot in here. I, I kind of noticed that. I, I regret uh, wearing it, long sleeves. Yeah. <laughs> it gets a, it gets a little balmy here on the inside, and and then when the pressure, and then um, when the when the action in here intensifies, it gets even hotter. Maybe that's why the ball's been slipping out of uh, these players' hands so far yeah. this game. <laughs> Maybe. Again, Massasoit applying a little pressure in the backcourt, not going away. Massasoit is looking to trap. Oh, Narciss, probably not a smart bounce pass there, trying to bounce that one through traffic. But it's going to stay Bristol ball. Again, if you're just joining us, Massasoit, the visiting team, the Warriors, here in the dark green. and uh, Looks like we got a uh, number 22 in for the, for the Bayhawks. Yep. Number 22 is in the game for the Bayhawks. Number 22. Uh, nice. nice. Freeman can't get it to go, but he's going to go to the line. That was a nice foul there by Freeman to get the rebound and stay with it. Number 22, Pro, pro well, Pufon. Pufon. Looks like uh, they're trying out some uh, new things here, Bayhawks. <laughs> Giving everyone. Hey, well, the more some people minutes. that you can get involved, that you're building, you're building your team, you're building depth. Exactly. Deeper the roster. Uh, deeper, yeah, deeper, deeper the even going to playoffs. Yeah, you never know when injury and uh, Freeman makes both free throws there. You never know when the injury bug is going to hit or what can happen. Hey. And now Bristol's trying to apply a little pressure. Bristol looking to double team and Gia and Narciss. Bristol turned up the defensive intensity. They can do. They're pretty quick, so they had no problem of uh, getting back when they double teamed to the open. They man. kick it to the wing. The three pointer is no good. Rebounded by Tejon Hendry, and boy, he's been uh, very good on the boards. 
Bristol kicking in the corner. Narciss uh -huh. off the off the rim, rebounded by Tyree. That was still ni a nice look by uh, Freeman, giving it to the open man. Okay, now Warriors with the basketball. Kick it into the corner. Bristol playing very good defense in that zone. Driving baseline, they kick it to the corner. Three-pointer, it's good. That was a nice shot there. Nice shot there by number 21. Some mad dude there. Uh, Nathaniel Semedo. Semedo, their leading scorer. He is their leading scorer, averaging 13.7 a game. Pufong loses it on the floor as Henry. Nice battle by Henry there. Diving for the ball. And those nice Nikes. You don't want to get them <laughs> dirty. You don't think those I are those are nice shoes for green for being green. Hmm. Not a green shoes kind of guy. Oh, by uh, Santos over there. Number eleven. Eleven. Hendry, Tejan oh. Henry. Oh, Henry. Oh, I thought you were talking about uh, Santos. Uh. Inside, Tyree kicks it back out. Now they kick it to the corner. That shot's wide open. Semedo can't get it to fall this time. Offensive rebound, and there's the dive in the dish. Score it for Tyree on the pass from number eleven. Gilbert Minea. Oh, they have an open man. Going yeah, to the basket, and that goes off the side of the. Uh, you have to keep, be careful you don't get a tech. Going to stay Bristol basketball. And this one, Megan, looks like this one's going to, I don't know, it just, it just has a feeling of a game that is going to go all the way down to the wire. I agree. Both teams are playing very physical and uh, making, making adjust, adjustments. Yeah, there's no love loss here. That mm. ball's deep. Narcissus can't connect. Rebound saved by the Warriors. Tell you what, it doesn't look like uh, Warriors have much shooters, but they definitely make up for it on the defensive end. Oh, stole it away by Freeman. Freeman going to the rack. Ooh, oh, look at nice. that. Oh. He's looking for a foul there. I'm surprised he didn't get it. Freeman cuffed that ball like he was going to jam it. I know, I was ready for it. That ball's a three, and the corner is good. Off the bench, number five, Sam Murphy. Going back the other way, and Gia all the way to the rack. Oh, Can't yeah. get it to fall, and who's there is Tejon Hendry for two. 28-24. Both teams going up and down. Henry just keeps finding it under the basket. Here's Cherry. Cherry picking. Cherry thought about it. Bristol all over the Warriors. Going to the basket. Short jumper in the paint over Hendry is number 11, Manea. And Coach Brian Fernandez is going to call a timeout, and the Warriors pull within two under seven minutes to play. The Warriors are doing a good job, I think, of just uh, taking what the Bayhawks giving them, not forcing anything here. That's for sure. They're being very smart. They're not, mm -hmm. they're not playing hero ball. They're not forcing three-pointers. Like you said, they're giving like what the defense is Basically, yeah, basically what the yeah. defense is giving them because it's not giving them that much. No, I don't think uh, Bayhawks are lacking on defense. I just think uh, I think the Warriors are doing a good job of moving the ball. And this is like pretty much a low-scoring game. We're about 13 minutes into this game, 28 to 26. It's kind of been back and forth. Both teams fast-breaking. Both teams playing good defense. Massasoit are doing a pretty good job with their full-court full court press. Yeah, definitely a fast-paced game. I wonder if it keeps up the whole game. They have the... They have the energy for it. Yeah, a lot of energy being expended. Still got seven minutes to play in this first half. But Massasoit all over, man to man. Ooh. Oh, nice, nice save there by yeah, Freeman. Freeman saved that one from going into the stands. Knocked away by Manea. The dish going up. Oh, oh I just missed it. Probably should have just laid it yeah. in. Tammy and Sherry. He got up there, but he got stuffed by the rim. If you gotta go for the highlight, if you wanna go for the highlight uh, play, you gotta you gotta get it, or you're gonna be on a was it sax, sax, <laughs> sacking a fool. Three pointer, Manea, and he nice. gets the Warriors to take the lead. Eyeballs. Pretty sure that uh, Gilbert Manea. Warriors don't mind uh, that dunk. Stolen by Manea to Sherry. Says, I'm not going to jam it. Try to jam it this time, and he lays it in. Good idea. I think that was, he learned his lesson. He learned his lesson on that one. Oh 
Santos back into the game for the Bayhawks. Bayhawks are uh, uh, trying to keep the fast Oh, nice pace. pass. Nice. Santos catches it to gives it to Henry. Henry rushed that one. Henry, good job to track it down, and Lopes. Lopes going to the basket, puts it above the glass, and in. No, I'm sorry, N Angia. Who else? Angia. You had to know that was Angia. <laughs> I couldn't have. What was I thinking? Love Joe Lopes, but he's not putting the ball to the floor like that. Or I don't know if he's uh, as fast as Angia. Yeah, not that fast. 31 to 30, we got a game on our hands. And a lot of basketball left to be played. Three-pointer by Manea coming off. Good shot by okay. Henry. You got to be careful there trying to get up there. and. Looks like Henry's getting almost every rebound this game. Yeah, but he tried to, he tried to look too cute going up there, grabbing it with one arm. Yeah, yeah. Here's Stanley Freeman driving to the basket, puts it up. Can't get it to fall. Rebounded by Sherry. Looks like uh, Sherry kicks it back out. Manea gets it to the paint, lays it up and in. Looks like Freeman is uh, discouraged with all the missed calls and going to the basket. There's Chad and Gia for three. I'm surprised that one didn't go in. Ah, uh, on the floor. Nice fight there, Henry. By Henry. Henry gets it to Angia. Nice pass. Oh, oh this place would have erupted. And Gia did a good job of keeping his composure there. The ball almost got almost taken from him, but he did a nice spin move but, and was able to put it up. Yeah. But good job on the floor there by Tejon Hendry to go there and get get the loose ball and have the wherewithal and it looks like he's he's all he's all over the, this game. Getting rebounds, diving for balls. Uh he's the Amaya, he's the Amaya Marshall of this game. Oh, it looks like it, looks like it. Uh, Maya Marshall in the previous game and the women's game was the same thing. Off the bench. Just doing all the little things. Doing all those little energy things that don't sometimes are not showed up on the on the score sheet. We like to uh call those players what is it? Uh, Marcus Marcus Smart. Smart. <laughs> Marcus Smart. That they get all the time. You need points. that you need that aggravator on your team. Yes. You need that aggravator, that instigator, that that dirt dog. That's going to get down and dirty and do the little things. Exactly. It energizes the whole team. Inside, they're going to collapse on Tyree. And Bristol's doing a good job of that. Yes. Freeman. Uh, Manea, short jumper from the elbow. He likes that shot. It's good. Number 11, Gilbert Manea. And, G and Gia. Nice oh, job. Wow. Uses. Nice job to put that window off the glass. Scored that over two. Uh, two people there. Nice little fadeaway. Yeah. 35, 35, 34. Manea kicks it back out to Sherry. Again, Bristol in that zone. That zone is active. Warriors have it to work for everything they get. Deep into the shot clock. Tyree looking to drive. Two, two people off oh, the glass and in as he goes between Lopes and Henry. You got to put a body on him. Yeah, he, they weren't much. They weren't really aggressive. No, let they're. Him, let him go inside. You can't let him uh, get going again. Santos for three off. Oh. Henry is there to catch it and put it in. You sure? That might have been a pass to uh, Henry there. I don't know oh, if that, yeah. was a, if that was a shot. You could say that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give. I'll a, let you say that. I'm gonna give Santos a better. Nice, of nice, nice job by Freeman to punch oh. it away, and it's gonna go off. It's gonna go off June. There's a little game of uh, hot potato there. <laughs> It was a little hot potato. Yeah, yeah. Coming under three minutes to play in this first half. It's getting hot and heated here in the pressure cooker. Here at Bishop Conley High School, the France Gymnasium, home of the Bishop Conley High School Cougars. You know, and right next door to the uh, beautiful campus of Bristol Community College. I don't think uh, that name's going to catch on. What's that? Pressure cooker. Right. I think it's, a, I don't know, it's too, it's too long. I'm not sure. If it's, not, it's not intimidating. It's the I'm pressure cooker. <laughs> he was coming here and wilt under the pressure. Still stutter step. Kicking it back into the corner. The jumper. It's oh. good. Calmly sinking that. Warriors have uh, been loving that corner three this game. That's number 33, Matt Crump off the bench. Matt Crump with the jumper. Nice pass by Santos underneath. Hendry cannot connect on the reverse layup attempt. It looks like both teams are going to the uh, going deep into the bench, probably because it's a fast-paced uh, game. Everyone's energy. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they definitely are. Yeah. 
Going, nice dribble move oh, there. Oh, nice block there by Freeman. But Manea gets that one blocked. Santos back up to Winchia. Uh, he had to pass that to Henry there. Yeah, he, he had that shot there. altered. Yeah. Pushing it back the other way. And I think we're going to have an offense. I think we're going to have a technical foul here. Let's see who that. Thought a fan was about to run into the court there. And, and Chad and Gia has just, I'm, Chad and Gia has just gone into the locker room. I think that was a, I mean, that may have been a second uh, technical foul. I think they got a technical earlier in the game. No, I do not remember them. They do not have shots like this. I am not sure what was said, what was done, but Chad and Gia has left this game, and that is, you're talking about Chad and Gia. That's their big scorer. That's yeah, Chad and Gia, he's a, he's a guy that can, he can really heat it up from the outside. Mm -hmm. Chad and Gia averaging over 21 and a half points per game. And they are going to miss him. Looks like uh, they had to start going in inside, but maybe towards Henry? Yeah, Tayshaun Henry can get it done in the interior. Freeman has been getting a couple good looks on the inside, too. Went and down it's it's going to be a time for a st someone's going to step, step up. up. And we talked about that. We talked about you can lose players at any minute due to injury or whatever the case may be. Why does, does Losing that? players, someone has to step up. That's why you get a Bill Jeff. Cross, oh, nice crossover and dish to Tyree. What a play by the Gilbert Manea, the point guard, getting inside. Wow. Santos gets it into the corner to Narciss. Brendan Narciss, he can hit that shot like in Gia. The three, short. I think you just jinxed him right there. Yeah. <laughs> Might have. 42 to 36. Six point lead. And now with Chad and Gia out of the game. Warriors gonna look to make a move. Manea for three, drains yeah. it. High arcing shot. He's been making uh, tough shots all game. Yes, he has. He's got the number 11. He looks like Kyrie. A little bit. Lopes, out to Santos, thought about it, drains oh, it. it. What an answer. And boy, do the Bayhawks need that. Now, I don't think I'm overreacting to that shot, but I think Santos might be the, the player to step up. He might be the guy. He's he the guy that, that might step up. I mean, he has experience from last year. I think uh, maybe this is a maybe yeah, this is game. definitely a veteran team. A guy who was with the um, BayHawks all last year, didn't see much play play you know didn't see much action, did see some action though last year, and now uh, that was a big shot right there where it looked like the Warriors could probably run away with this one into the half, and we'll keep it right here, 45 to 39. That was a big shot by Santos. It looked like he was a little bit hesitant, like he wasn't too sure of himself, but and then he, he went, nailed, he did yeah. nail it. The guy was closing out. He made the decision, and uh, I think I think they're happy with it. <laughs> yeah, <'cause> see, <laughs> well, sometimes if you hesitate, sometimes you know that's uh, that, that can that could turn out to be a negative. Yeah, it'll alter the, alter the shot a little bit. You know, you get a hopefully uh, seeing one go down, give him Santos more confidence. Him, yeah, exactly. It could be a confidence builder going into the second half. Forty-five, thirty-nine. And we are winding down here in the first half, but it's been a very, very uh, entertaining first half nonetheless. Here's Manea. Well, motion offense by the Warriors. Five on the shot clock. Manea going all the way to the basket. Strong oh, block nice by, by Henry. Henry. Freeman going back the other way. And the Bayhawks can hold. Lopes. We can pass it out to oh. Santos swings it. Freeman thought about it. Freeman from the free throw line gets it. Mm. Can't get it to fall. I'm not sure if that was uh, the best shot there. Warriors can get a shot off. Manea, the put up. Oh. oh, good. What an entertaining barn burning of a first half. Barn burner of a first half. I a slobber knocker. The difference, I think, uh, this, first, this first half was just fouls. A couple more fouls given to uh, the Bayhawks or a couple less fouls. But both teams really not in foul trouble. You look mm -hmm. at both teams, only three team fouls on each. No, neither team went into the penalty. So the, um, and you've seen a couple couple times where Bayhawks players got bumped, got yeah. pushed, and there's no foul call. So the, um, 
you know, referees letting these two teams play, these Route 24 rivals, and, you know, that's about it. Chad Ngia goes out, and uh, we'll see what his status is for the second half, but I think he might have got ejected. I think I think so. I think uh, he may have said something to the refs after maybe a non-call or... Yeah, I well, we'll, we will bring it back here for second half action. 45 to 39, don't go away. This one's going to go down to the wire between these two rivals as the Warriors... Take on the Bayhawks here, 45 or 39. It is halftime, and uh, we'll be right back. Stay with us. Welcome back, everybody. Halftime here, but we're getting ready here for the second half, the start of the second half. 45 to 39, Massasoit Community College has the lead, six-point lead over the Bristol Bayhawks. And Megan, halftime report. Well, Who are some of the leading scorers for both teams for the first half? Minier has been getting, uh, getting some shots to fall. He got 19 points. Tyree has 14 for the Warriors. And for the Bayhawks, we had three players in uh, with six points with Freeman, Santos, and Lopes. And then Nagia, uh, who got was a leading scorer with 12 points, but he got thrown out with two technical fouls. And so. Chad NG is the leading scorer for the Bristol Community College Bayhawks, averaging 21.6 a game. And like you said, uh, Megan, he got um, he got ejected from the game with two technical fouls, and he will not be here. Obviously, here in the second half, he is done. What does what does Bristol need to do to compensate for having the loss? Such a big loss as they seemed seemingly unraveled once he got out of the game there in the last few minutes of the first half. I think they need to get back to what they were doing in the beginning of the game, just getting there. Getting the bench players more involved, and uh, Henry stepped up, just keep going Henry inside, and Freeman just continue being an aggressive and a facilitator. I think I that's think they can stay in it. That's for sure. They need to um, see who's going to step up from the perimeter. They're going to they're going to need to get the ball going to the basket, like you said. Dominic Dominic Santos, just as I say that, goes to the rack, and the Warriors going to come away with it. Number twenty one. Nathaniel Semedo. Well, Freeman's Freeman is uh, shooting over around 43%, almost 43% from three. So if anyone's going to be out, uh, shooting outside the arc, I think it should be Freeman. And Stanley Freeman, who's become a good floor general for this team and a good leader, he's going to need to be scoring more, that's for sure. Santos kicks it back up to Freeman. Freeman's going to need to take over this game. Goes uh, up and almost. gets the contact, and he'll go to the line. Almost an one there. Freeman is going to need to be the man here in the second half. As this is the first. This is the first game of the new year. The first game here in the second half of the season. Six and three, Bristol went under new head coach Brian Fernandes. I'll tell you, outside of the first couple minutes of the first quarter, uh, they after, even after 40 days off, they doesn't look like they're not too rusty. Bayhawks. Well, that, those first couple minutes, I thought they were a little bit rusty. Yeah, a little out the gate, and then once Tayshawn Hendry came in, yeah. um, they got more they, aggressive. Yeah, they kind of yeah they kind of settled down and got a little aggressive on the interior. And now Bristol showing some pressure. 45-40. Freeman missed the first free throw, made the second. Bristol within five. Bristol going to need everybody here in the second half. Here's that pressure. And what I say, the pressure cooker in the second half. Ball slipping through Bristol, fingers. Bristol plays that immense defense, and they can force you to uh, do some silly things. See what Freeman does here. Here's Freeman. Freeman spinning. Puts it up off the glass. Nice. And in. Let's keep doing that. Keep Freeman, keep uh, taking it to the basket. And then once he, yeah, and then once he does that, he can create for others. Open up space and maybe hopefully get a couple open threes. Exactly. They're going to be dialing in on Freeman. Looks like uh, Bayhawks changed the man to man here. Yep. There's a floater in the lane. Tipped. Oh, put nice. Up. Nice block there. I think, uh, I think Santos got a piece of it. Yeah, that was good defense in the interior. Warriors with the offensive rebound. Looks like they're clogging the interior and making them, making them uh, beat them at the three-point line, which I think if they want to win this game, they're going to they're gonna need to do. Yeah, they're going to stop the ball from going to the basket. Well, uh, Tyree had 
had uh, 14 points. He just hit, was like that right there. Oh, right there, yeah. They, He's able to get, just get an open look. He's been the one constant. They did a good job, job of shutting him down for a good time period, but he's gonna get he's gonna get his points and then knocked away, stolen. A nice bounce pass and the lay-in. Oh, lay-in attempt missed. Freeman got was there to uh, disturb the shot a little bit. Yeah, and Santos got the rebound. Here's Dominic. Back into the hands of the floor general, Stanley Freeman. Hendry looking to set a screen over there. See, I feel like if the uh, the score on this team, you got to go quick. You can't let them set up. Yeah, you can't let them set up on defense, right? Bristol, Bristol sometimes can struggle. Well, they don't have in the in the in the, in the, uh, in the half court. Without but, Gia, they don't have the go-to score, so they might be looking too hard to find a basket instead of just going. We're gonna need Henry to step up. Yes. Here's Sherry, kicking it to the corner, back out Manea. Manea had 19 in the first half, 13 on the shot clock. Manea drives to the basket, kicks out. 10 on the shot clock, Bristol. Oh, got a crossover into the oh, paint, nice. but stolen away. He lost control of it. The pressure cooker. Did I say that right? <laughs> That's right. Oh. oh, nice pass from Narcissus to Lopes. Oh, uh, a little mismanagement A little there, too much passing yeah. there. Uh, yeah, Lopes, Henry. that's his jumper right there. Can't get it to go. Rebounded by Henry. The putback nice. is good. Over two defenders there. Bristol within three. A lot of time left in this one. Do not go away. I'm surprised they don't uh, let uh, Minea run the floor here. He was hitting some tough shots in the first first half. Yeah, he sure was. Going underneath, Tyree, Tyree gets his own rebound and throws it out of bounds. Tyree felt the pressure there. <laughs> the pressure cooker. The pressure cooker. Forty-seven, forty-four. Freeman walks the ball up over the timeline for the Bayhawks. Being guarded by number 15, Stephane June. Freeman for three. Nails nice. it. Boy, did he nail it. Nothing but net. Like I said, he's And the a, Bristol faithful loves it. He's a 43% uh, field goal uh, shooter, even though he's only hitting, he's only trying three, point, three field goals, uh, three points a game. So Kicking man. it to the corner for three. No good. Samato cannot connect. Uh, Freeman gets that one knocked away by June. Stephane June knocks that ball away. I like what the Bayhawks are doing, trying to get trying to get uh, to the rim quickly. Got to get to the rim. That's the name of the game. Lopes kicks it back out. Freeman's asking for the ball. Oh. Here's Narciss. Good defense there by the Warriors. Too much dribbling. Nine on the shot oh, clock. Yeah, Santos Freeman. Open in the corner. Missed him there. Freeman loses it. Tyree out in the open court. Gets it to Cherry. Oh, nice oh, little nice. move there on the open court by Cherry. Gives the Warriors the lead. That was a nice hustle, though, to get back by number three. Crowd's getting loud here. And what, what is the call? What is the call here? We have a technical foul. Oh wow! Bayhawks got a call. Who's the technical foul on? It looks like it's on number. They called it on Tamian Cherry, who scored the last basket. It must have been a taunting. And Freeman with a second miss from the free, from free throw land. I'll tell you what. Looks like the refs are letting it get physical, but I'm not letting it letting them talk too much. Let's get physical, physical. <laughs> I think uh, you're going to try out for the voice. <laughs> it's karaoke out. <laughs> oh, man. 49 to 47, and both free throws missed there by Freeman. Had a chance to tie the game and get the basketball, and Stanley Freeman uncharacteristically misses both free throws. Oh, you have Henry right there on the basket. Missed opportunity. Maybe uh, Bayhawks are moving a little too fast there. They're not, they're not seeing the open man. Bristol just needs to be patient. Get a good look, get a good shot. Get something going to the basket. 
They have Lopes right there under the. Oh. They're trying to flash Hendry high. I would get him down low on the block, and that, again, another turnover. And Bristol having a tough time. They're having a tough time setting up in their offense and and getting a getting a good shot, creating a good shot. Seems like they only really got success going fast break. Yeah, Bristol. Bristol needs to be in transition. Their transition game, their defense is their offense. When they're mm -hmm. forcing turnovers and um, getting into the passing lanes and getting the, getting the fast break going, they're they're better in transition. Transition is their is, is their middle name. Yeah. yeah, Cherry at the line now, and that technical foul by Tammy and Cherry really didn't amount to anything for Bristol, who didn't get any points out of it. No. It looks like uh, they're chipping away at the lead, but starting to uh, it's only the three-point game. I mean, yeah, Cherry misses the second free throw. Bristol right there with him. Here's Freeman driving. Santos. Yeah, three open. They collapse on Lopes. Nice. Oh, nice give nice. and go. Uh, oh, but but Hendry cannot connect on the other end. Nice pass there by Santos to a cutting Hendry. That was a nice challenge by Tyree. Yeah, it was. Tyree definitely a force there for 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 Massasoya. His size is just. Look at him set a pick. Yeah. Manea kicks it back out. He could drain it from out there. Tyree oh, drains wow. it for three. A big for uh, for three. Kind of like Ken 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 Kelly Olenek, like. <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> Little bit. I don't really miss him with the Celtics. I, don't, I wasn't a big. Oh, I wasn't a Kelly Olenek fan. Uh, oh, stolen away. In the open court. Oh, oh, what a bad miss there. Sherry cleans it up, though. See? And Bristol getting a little bit lackadaisical on the boards there. Warriors, Shouldn't have allowed those points. No, Warriors gave him a favor there by missing a layup, and uh, Bayhawks just couldn't take advantage. Yeah, you got to get the rebound there. No, you're not going to get two favors. And that's too bad right there. What a turn of events. And this game's back up. Uh, eight points. Yeah, ever since the technical foul. Changed momentum. By, yeah, by Tammy and Cherry. Well, you thought it would have changed momentum on the Bristol side of it. But instead. Looks like uh, the Warriors got their stuff together. Yeah, instead the Warriors, after that technical foul, they're on a 6-0 run. And it's 55-47 to with 13-0-3 to play here well, it looks like in the, the second half. Looks like the Bayhawks are not uh, being less aggressive offensively going into it and just trying too hard to set something up instead of just going for it to, to the rim like they were doing to start the half. But right now, where is the outside shooting going to come from? They're not, the uh, the Warriors do not have the respect. They don't they don't respect the outside shot now from Bristol. And they're all over it. I mean, you have. I mean, they're all over the uh, the Bayhawks. Freeman hit one uh, early in the half, and you have uh, Narcissus? Narcissus. Narcissus. Uh, Brendan Narciss. Okay, one, uh, one third of his threes. Not doesn't really not really a three point shooter though. No one's, no one is roster taken over, taken over three, three uh, threes per game outside of Nagia. It's not part of the game. And Chad and Gia, I mean he, I mean from three point land. I mean Chad and Gia shoots thirty seven point seven percent from three point land. Hope Stanley, Stanley Freeman shoots 43% from there. This is hope the game doesn't come down to a three-pointer. <laughs> well, there it oh. is. Joe Lopes for three. That's off the mark. That's not the guy you want shooting from out there, that's for sure. I, I'm surprised they haven't gone to Henry inside more. They need to. They need a spark from somewhere, the Bayhawks do. Only down eight. Well, they brought back Inside. In, oh, muscle in his way is Tyree inside on Henry. Henry's Henry, less physical. Henry giving up a little bit of bulk mm. to Tyree, and that's the Warriors' largest lead of the game, 57-47, to 47, up 10. I wonder the first half tired uh, Henry out a little bit. Pufon. Oh, nice. Come into the and game. And they're going to say it's a they're gonna say it's a three. Come into the game and able Poof. to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> going to the basket is Cherry, and they're going to call it travel. There you go. Get the and maybe the Warriors will start to unravel. Momentum's definitely uh, in Bayhawks' favor right now. See if they can take advantage and 
pull together another drive. See if they can do it. Uh, try and, set up in the air. and it's going to be going back the other way. Mission failed. And they're going to say that foul was. I think he's trying to set the screen there. Legal screen. Yeah, I think they might have called a move and pick. Definitely a foul away from the ball by number 22, Mr. Pouffon. So you got, you got that's, a that's a fun name. Yeah. Jeremiah King, number 12, in the, in the game for the Warriors. I wish my name was. June, oh, nice. June loses oh. it. Who's oh. got it? Pouffon, he loses it. And the Warriors get it right back. Buffon making plays and missing plays all. Both teams getting sloppy with the basketball yes. right now. Bayhawks, Bayhawks in man. Driving to the basket, putting it up. Oh, and nice. They're going to call a foul. I thought it was a clean block by Pufon. They got to be careful here. They, uh, yeah, they're going to call that foul on number 15. They're going to call it on Dominic Santos. Santos looks like he's coming out the game. Oh, nope. That's his first. Going to the line. Number 21, Nathaniel Semedo. Again, averaging nearly 14 points a game. Hits 37% from three-point land. We could use, uh, we can use hits him both right now. Hits both free throws. He's only a 62% 60, free throw shooter. But he puts the Warriors up nine. Almost halfway through the second half. Here's Freeman. Santos, that pass. I don't know what he's trying to pass through there. Yeah, that, covered. that pass wasn't even close. He threw that ball into a crowd of green, <laughs> dark green. Freeman will inbound. 14 on the shot clock. Here's Pufon, kicks it into the corner. And there's going to be a, they're going to call a foul on Minea with a little bump. Nine-point lead. Looks like uh, Bayhawks still, still having a hard time setting up. Freeman kicks go, it. Henry. Henry going to the basket. That's nice. what they need. Nice. Freeman driving and creating, drawing attention. It gets into a cutting Henry. Henry went up strong there. That was a nice find by uh, Freeman. Going back to being a facilitator. Three-pointer Manea. I think he got a little, I think Freeman got a little. Manea, air that. ball. I don't know, I think Freeman might have got a little, uh, tip, a little tip on the ball. Yeah, it's good defense. Freeman a good two-way player. Yes. It's very, uh, very aggressive on both ends of the floor. Looks like he's trying to There's a screen, a screen, here. screen set there. Uh, dribbling a little too much. And they're going to call travel. And Bristol will get it right back. Massasoit had it for a minute with the loose ball. And they're going to call travel on Jeremiah King. Nice Here's Pufong. Jumper from the baseline. Henry's there nice. with the offensive rebound. Bristol within five. Ten minute, ten minute mark. They need Henry to step up in this game. They are going to need. Through. You are correct. They are going to need Tejon Henry to really step it up. But they're going to pull this one out here. Driving, spinning to the basket. Manea gets it inside. Call a foul on Henry there. I think they are going to call a foul. They're going to call a foul on number 1-1, Tejon Henry. Only his first, though. Both no, his, second free, his second foul, I'm sorry. 14 fouls on the Bayhawks. Three on the visiting Warriors. 19 on the shot clock. Looks like a double team and Tyree in the inside. Yeah, they're going to need to. They need to. They need to take him out of the game. Try to make uh, this team beat you back. I, I would. Yeah, you get, you get a force the Warriors to beat you from the outside. I don't think they could do it. Drive it to oh, the hole. Nice, Manea, nice, nice defensive play Henry. there, and a shot clock yeah. violation. Manea has been quiet this second half. They found an answer for Manea. Maybe hopefully they can find an answer for Tyree. Well, with Tyree, it's a matchup. It's a size problem. Yeah. Manea was Man just hitting tough shots. Well, Manea, yeah, he was hitting tough shots, but they're all over him. Here's Freeman. 
15 on the shot clock. Freeman looking to drive, spinning in the lane, puts it up. Can't get the roll. You know what I Rebutted saw there? by Manea. You know what I saw there? This the Bayhawks are doing too much standing around. They need to start moving and cutting more. Yeah, they're gonna move. They're gonna move without the basketball. Like the the Massasoit women. That was a good example. Yes. They a lot. Those girls. They moved. They moved the basketball. They moved without the basketball. Good teamwork. Constantly cutting to the basket. Yeah. <laughs> Driving to the lane. Off balance is Manea. He gets fouled. And presumably, it looks like he's going to go to the line for two. No, it looks like they. No, it's going to be a. Inbounds it. No, it's going to be a blocking foul. <laughs> and that's going to be a second. The second foul is going to be on uh, number 22, Pufong. Looks like. Looks like Cherry's coming back in the game. They're going to block him out. They're going to block Tyree out. Mm. Then he's getting a little more physical. Tyree. Oh, nice, nice little big move. there. Oh, nice. Oh. oh, that was all ball. And they're going to call Hendry with a foul. And Coast does not look too happy right now. Hendry, for all his length, for his, uh, for all his athleticism and his length, just giving up a little bit of size, a little bit of bulk there to Tyree. I, I just don't think he can match up with them on the block. They're going to need to help out and to get a guy in front of him to front him. They were double teaming him uh, last drive. He just has, I think Tyree just has a nice spin move. He definitely does get some good moves out, on the, out uh, underneath, and he can hit the he can hit the shot from the outside too. Sixty to fifty-four, a six-point lead. Henry on inside day. Oh, nice, nice pass. pass to Pufal. So Henry. Oh, and travel. they're going to call travel. That's tough. I thought that was nice patience there by Henry. Yeah, it was a nice pass a nice pass there by Pupong. Yes. To find Henry underneath, but Henry traveled. I don't think I ever get tired of saying that name. Pupong? Pupong? Yeah. <laughs> 61 to 54. Cherry was trying to make something happen. Kicking it back out. Cherry back out to. Oh, losing it. Manea loses it. Here comes Freeman. Freeman, while you guys are in transition, you got to keep it going. Yeah. Looks like Pufan's trying to do all the little things. Play a step up, coming off the bench. Yeah. Just the Bristol offense just looks stagnant. They need, they need to start getting up off a fast break, getting quick. Oh, back. nice little stutter step, going to the hole and putting it up off the glass and in. Tammy and Cherry. Back to a nine-point lead. The Warriors have had as, as large as a ten-point lead Pufong's in this half. Pufong's open in the corner. There you go. Pufong for three. No, nice. he gets it to go. That's a big shot. I never knew. Pufong's coming. Double coming. deuce with the three to cut it to within six. Timeout on the floor. We're going to take a break here. 7.33 to play here in the second half. 63-57. to 57. Warriors got the lead. We'll be right back here on FRC Media, your Bayhawks Broadcasting Network. Okay, we're back with you. Hopefully uh, the Bayhawks can get something going defensively so they can get out on a fast break and get their offense going. Yeah, they definitely get to generate. They get to generate some offense somehow. They get to do it with their defense. That's how Bristol's done it. Looks like they are. In the pass. Move, moving the basketball is the Warriors. Three-pointer in the corner is good. Boy, that's a killer. Bayhawks are worried about uh, Tyree inside. Yeah, Samada with the three in the corner. But boy, that's a killer. Freeman's taking a little long here to, uh, to get to oh, the Oh, nice crossover. Freeman going oh, to the nice. rack. And boy, Proved they needed wrong. that. Proved me wrong there. Freeman with the crossover, gets it to the lane and goes hard. Oh, nice. going, oh, Pufong went for it. Double team. Got to get there on the perimeter, the three-pointer and nails it. That, now that, talk about a killer. You can't leave no, no man open right now. Stephane June. They're going to say it's only a two. Ooh, Freeman, Freeman going to the rack. Can't get it to fall. And this game starting to get into the nitty-gritty. Largest lead for the Warriors. They're looking for their 
even larger lead. Their largest lead is 10. They're slowing down a little bit on offense. They, of, they, they get a 10 point lead. They don't need to be that aggressive. Think they to, yeah, time Three to, pointer, no good. Trying to take some time off the clock here. Pufong tracks it down. Bristol needs to show a sense of urgency. Under six minutes to play. Boy, Warriors playing good defense, good trap. Lopes, nice. oh. Lopes, oh, gets it knocked away. There's no sense of urgency uh, with the Bayhawks offense right now. Or oh, for the, this whole, for this whole uh, second half. Doesn't seem like it. Defensively, they need, they need they some stops. Yeah. That's what they need. Not that many possessions left in this game. They need stops. Tyree for three, and that could probably do it. Wow, the big man showing his range. That's his third three of the game. Knocked away. Bristol starting to unravel here, uh, and Freeman went up to try to get that one, but he can't get it. Stephane June for two, going hard to the rack. 74-59, and wow, just like that, it's a 15-point lead. What happened? Probably the coach is not going to call a timeout. Too soon. What just happened? Henry's coming back in the game. Hopefully this can... Uh, Match their physicality inside. Well, that's the thing. Tejon Henry, he's getting out physical. He's getting out muscled there by. By Henry. By, by Tyree. Okay. Tyree, yeah, sorry. Freeman's uh, might be dribbling too much. Freeman shaking bake, and he just. I think he should go back to being a facilitator. Right now, but, so I mean, who you're facilitating to? I mean, no one else is stepping up right now. And you miss Chad and Gia. You. And another thing that we're another thing that hasn't been mentioned is the Bayhawks are missing their other starting, their starting freshman guard, A. B. Madrano, three pointer off the mark. Bristol's got some work to do. Down 15. Pufong gets it into the corner. Narciss and. Ba the Bayhawks are just having a bad shooting night. Four minutes to play. Bristol in desperate need of a stop here. Nice defense. Oh, oh. and it's going to be off Narciss, who made a good defensive play there, but it went through his legs. All he needs to do is keep doing that and hopefully uh, just take one steal to get the momentum yeah, but back on their side. The thing, that, the thing that's against Bristol right now is time. There's not enough time left in this one. Driving to the basket. Manea going to the oh, rack. Nice, block nice play by Pufong. Think he got a piece of it. Freeman going back down oh, the Freeman other end and he gets ball. it stolen away. Samito. He almost lost it. And the Ma Master Soil will just start to milk the clock. And there's nothing the Bayhawks can do. Shake and bake. Here's Manea. Manea crosses over into the paint. Kicks it for three. Coming off and nice rebounded save. by Henry. Nice save there by Henry. Almost got it out of bounds. Bayhawks are going a little too slow offensively. Narciss. Uh... This is too much unnecessary passing. Henry nice. that hits the three. Nice. Coach Brian Fernandes promptly calls a timeout. That is a three. And that pulls Bristol within 12 with 2.49 to play. So this one not over just yet. But Bristol's going to need a couple stops, and they're going to need a couple miracles. They need a couple of threes, but they don't have Angia. Yeah, but they're going to yeah, have to start. Get some fast break. No, they need to stop here, and then they need they need a couple more baskets. Yeah. They need to cut this. They need to cut this lead within the next minute. They need to get it to uh, to six. Yeah. Two point game. A couple threes cut it to within six, but I mean, even then, a twelve point lead with two forty nine to play. I mean. They gotta get some steals, or quick stops. Yeah, and they're gonna need um. They're going to need the Warriors to start miss, to miss free throws, too. So, I mean, there's a, you know, not over just yet, but 
well, who do pretty you much pretty much one foot in the grave for the Bayhawks right now. Who do you foul here for on the Warriors? Who's a poor uh, three throw percentage? Let me, let's look. You could fight. Are you? Well. I mean, you, you could, they got good free throw shooters. I mean, Tamian Cherry, 89%. Gilbert Manea, 70%. Maybe Tyree. 70%. Tyree at 60%. And maybe uh, don't let him get, get anything, get any baskets. <laughs> as soon as he touched the ball. Just. Definitely going to put the pressure on now. Full court pressure applied. Got to get a turnover over the timeline. Come the Warriors, and there's a foul. Uh, it looks like an injury. I think you're really going to have to shorten this game. You're really going to have to start fouling now, I think. Get him to the free throw line now. You're going to have to start fouling now and hoping they miss. You're going to shorten this game and stop the clock. And there's another foul. I think that one's going to be on Narciss. And that should, that should, no, well, actually, that's only going to be if he makes both, it would just be uh, 14. But it looks like uh, Bayhawks don't have much energy left in this game, for this game. Yeah. Oh, well. So both teams have six team fouls. So one more team foul, and both teams will be in, uh, in the bonus, shooting one and one. Got to get a stop here if you're Bristol. Nice Drew moves there by Cherry. Here's Manea. And there's the foul, and they're going to be going to the line. I'm not be, a, be a one on one situation. Manea's uh, hitting a little bit over uh, 70% from a three throw line. But he's a little shaken up, it looks like. Maybe we'll shake it off. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Manea calmly sinks the first one, so. Is he wearing two different shoes? I think he might be. Second free throw is good. So if you're if you're Bristol and you're hoping for the uh, the Warriors to miss, that wasn't good. They need to make a quick basket here. There's they're... a three pointer. Narcissus gonna be yeah. short. Knocked oh, away nice. by Santos. Yeah, Santos has around the back. Pufong in the corner nice. for seven to seventeen feet. Nails it. Nice. Coach well. Brian Fernandez will call a timeout. His team back within 12 with 2.06 to play. Nice dish there by Santos. That was a nice dish by Dominic. 2.06 to play in this one. Poof's been having a pretty good quiet game coming up, coming out of the bench. Who's that? Poof. 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 Yeah, he has. He really has been a little spark plug, getting to lose balls, getting rebounds, and a better shooter than I ever thought he may be. He said a couple shots on the outside. Maybe not quite enough, though, to uh, get the Bayhawks back into this. No, but definitely they found a good role player, yeah. definitely coming off the bench here in the second half of the season. They're going to need it. They're gonna, you need a player like that. Yes. A guy that can do a little bit of everything. Provide that spark and off can the be, bench. And can, yeah, can, it can provide that, that sort of toughness that you need, well, especially we, when we get into these later months where all these games are going to be they're all going to be tough games against conference opponents and it'll as we go into tournament play. It'll be interesting to see if Henry's coming off the bench or starting and uh, surprise. I think, I think you'll see him starting. And there it is. That's a, turn, that's a quick turnover they needed. Now you need buckets. Quickly. You need big buckets. Quickly. Big, quick buckets. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I want to say thank you to our Facebook audience joining us here in our live stream. Tell your friends, tell your family. That's Freeman. Nice. Look by Freeman. Don't go away yet. Down 10. Need a quick steal. You might need a foul. You might need to foul. You need a foul in length in this here. game, and there's yep. a foul right there. If you can't get the quick steal, you need to foul now. You get a short. You get a short in this game. It's a possession game now. And at the this line, at the line, we have Nathaniel Semedo, number twenty-one. Sixty-one, uh, a little bit over sixty-one percent uh, free throw shooter. So. Oh. Well. 
I think I just jinxed that. <laughs> they're coming up. Well, they're coming up big. They hit all. The, I look, have they hit all the three throws this game? They've done a good job from the free throw line. Buries it. Twelve point lead. If you're Bristol, you might need to start hoisting threes now. Two points aren't going to do it. There's a three pointer by Narciss. It's short. I don't think Narciss. And I think that's going to do it right there. I don't think Narciss. Uh, if it wasn't done now, if it wasn't done now, it's done. And there's Cherry losing it off his foot. Going to look up. And oh, that's good it job right by Manea getting back like a free safety. Looking like Devin McCourty back there. Who should come back to the Patriots. I hope he's, I hope so. Okay. Be interesting year off offseason for the Patriots. Going to be a, going to be a weird Super Bowl Sunday without the Patriots in it. It's been like, you know, a Patriot holiday. Well, we know. If New England Patriots holiday. We know if the 49ers, if the 49ers win, all we're going to hear is about is Jimmy Garoppolo. So the you Patriots know what? I'd rather the 49ers win than the Chiefs because yeah. I don't want to hear about Patrick Mahomes and I, I cannot stand Travis Kelsey. <laughs> so I, uh, Jimmy G all day. I thought you were going to say S uh, Jimmy, uh, Patrick Mahomes' girlfriend. No, they're, <laughs> all, <laughs> yeah, she's so a, they're all annoying. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a turnover there and Bristol... Bristol losing Chad and Gia, their yeah. leading scorer, and their um, their stellar outside shooter. They missed him today in the second half. That's definitely the, the difference maker right there. If they had uh, and Gia, this game, well, I think this game would be. You take out Chad and Gia, mm -hmm. and now your facilitator, Stanley Freeman, has to become a scorer, and he's not he's not a natural scorer. He's a guy that can score, but he's more of a He's more of a guy that's going to uh, create, be a floor general, but not be your, you know. Also looks like they were just less physical in the second half. They came out. They were a little, little I mean, had less energy. 40, 40 days. Yeah, I know. You can practice all you want. You can scrimmage all you want. There's nothing like full, there's nothing like game speed. There's nothing like full game speed and, you know. Well, it was a good defensive game. Pretty still low scoring. 79, I don't know, 79 points. It was low scoring at the beginning, but now 79, 66. I think uh, I think they can take away this game and turn around here for a, for a Saturday night game. A Saturday, yeah, Saturday night. Yeah, it's going to be a quick turnaround. Get another game in two days, so. And it's at home. Another double header coming up. This Saturday afternoon. And to our Facebook audience, tell your friends, tell your family to watch us on YouTube. You can find all of our Bristol Community College Bayhawks games on our Bayhawks YouTube channel. Or just uh, put Bristol Community College Bayhawks in the search engine. I'm sure you can find a whole archives of Bayhawks basketball. I'm not sure if there's no Thanks to uh, <laughs> Steve O. Shout out to Steve. I'm not sure if there's any point of foul in here. Well, you always want to play to the end, so. Now, you never just want to give up. Stranger things have happened, but 40 seconds to play. Are you saying anything's Arts possible? <laughs> more, things are possi more things are possible in this game than the, uh, the last game that we've seen. <laughs> but uh, but know. the Warriors come in here, and they're a tough team. Two years ago in the Region 21 tournament, Massasoya beat um, the Bayhawks in the uh, in the New England Regional Final for Region 21 for the right to go to the uh, for the right to go to the Nationals. Megan and Massasoya went to the Nationals just a couple years ago. This is a they've always had a good uh, basketball program, and they're going to be a you know you're going to be a they're going to be a force to be reckoned with going down the stretch. Definitely a rivalry uh, tool. To look forward to in the future. Yeah, they um, they always play each other tough, and there always seems to be more of an intense feeling when these two teams get together. So you never know; they can see each other again. Looks like Nathaniel's coming back in. He started tonight. I'm surprised we didn't see him. I all like game. I like the toughness and the um, you know his build. I like his build. Yeah, I like his build. I like I like what he brought. I thought he um. He got a couple of rebounds in the beginning. Yeah. Surprise! Uh. Surprised they just bring them in now. 
I thought he could muscle up a little bit against Tyree. I think he could have came in and helped out more to kind of spell Hendry a little bit, but you didn't see him. You didn't see him after those first four or five minutes. But you could definitely show that he you could definitely see you could definitely see that he uh, that he hustles out there and tries hard. Probably the reason why he got the start. We'll see uh, next game if he, any, he gets uh, more minutes. Yeah. Looks like they're going to dribble out the clock here. Oh. That'll be the last. There it is. That's going to do it. Going to be Bristol basketball, but unfortunately there's no 13-point shot. <laughs> Freeman will put it up. Pad the and stats a little bit. And Pad the scoreboard a little bit. Bittersweet <laughs> ending there. And that is going to do it. All right. So I want to thank our Facebook audience for joining us here on our live stream today. Brought to you by FRC Media. 79 to 70 is the final score. And uh, not a great day for Bristol, Megan. No, I think they can uh, saw some good things here tonight. They played, played consistently defensively. This is the offense. Get, uh, couldn't get going. They need to find a second consistent score outside of uh, Angia. Yeah, definitely need someone else who can step up, like you said. And uh, who is our Bristol Community College Bayhawks player of the game? I we know in the first half, who was our leading scorer? Uh, it was, I believe, Nangia was the leading scorer. <laughs> 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 well, he got ejected. Yeah, so, so I, was give it, I would give it to Freeman, even though uh, I feel like he f uh, forced some shots. I feel like he was a good facilitator throughout the game. Uh, and kept his end on defensive side. So Stanley Freeman, our lone player from last year, our returning sophomore, starter from last year, will be our Bayhawks player of the game. And I want to tell our audience to stay tuned for more Bristol Community College Bayhawks action in the future coming up on our live on live streaming on our, face, on our Facebook page, our Bristol Community College Athletics page. All right, the final score, 79-70 to 70 here from LaFrance Gymnasium in Fall River. The uh, Bayhawks fall to Massasoit Community College. For David Cardoza and Megan Holder and Steve Reese, you've been watching Bayhawks basketball here on FRC Media. Good night, everybody.